That hurricane is weakening, but it is moving north. It might take more substantial rains up in the parts of the southwestern United States. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be aimed at the drought stricken areas of California, but more up toward uh, perhaps Arizona, New Mexico. We'll see exactly where it tracks. You can see it slammed through Cabo San Lucas, as Stan mentioned, now making its way up along Baja California. And the outer bands of that moisture already starting to spread up toward the Phoenix area. It's 103 degrees in Phoenix right now. And the dew point there has risen to 58, so it's going to get kind of humid and maybe some heavy showers and thunderstorms coming up in toward uh, Arizona. The desert's getting some moisture from Hurricane Odile. Most of the nation, though, actually feeling more like fall from the upper Midwest through the Great Lakes into New England and even down to the mid-Atlantic region. Temperatures are on the cool side for this time of year at least. And it looks like we will continue to enjoy some very pleasant temperatures around here in the next several days. 69 at the Naval Academy, 70 at Ocean City, Ridgely. In Caroline counties at 73 degrees, some cool 60s out west in Garrett and Allegheny counties. And uh, there are some showers to the north and west of us, which will start pushing across the mountains after midnight. So until that happens, a very pleasant evening shaping up around the mid-Atlantic here in Baltimore and onto the eastern shore. That shower chance comes in with a front that's kicking up the, sh the uh, light sh rain showers across parts of Ohio and Michigan this evening. Behind it, cool high pressure. That front slides through here early tomorrow. So the rain chance will probably be over by about 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning, and then the skies will clear up, and high pressure will settle in for the bulk of the week, actually, and produce some real nice fall-like conditions. There's the uh, hurricane sitting down there in Baja, California. Out in the tropical Atlantic, there's a, another one that we have to track, Edward. Here comes the front with showers from State College to Oakland at about 3 o'clock in the morning, a few sprinkles maybe around Baltimore. By about 8 or 9, though, most of the showers have passed the Baltimore area, and after 10 o'clock, skies clear up, and we'll get some afternoon sunshine. Should be very nice. And then with that strong high pressure settling in, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are looking pretty good as well, heading through the rest of the work week. So just one little shower chance here this week, and that's early tomorrow morning. Forecast in for tonight, mid 50 suburbs, low 60s downtown, showers after midnight, scattered about the area with winds out of the south at 5. Tomorrow during the morning, a shower is possible, again, up until maybe 8 or 9 o'clock. And then skies gradually clear. Highs tomorrow, 73 to 78. The normal is 78, so we'll be a few degrees below normal with a northwest breeze. Now, the Weather Service thinks the winds could occasionally gust to 20 knots, so they've got a small craft up in the morning as that front is passing across the uh, Chesapeake with two foot waves. Again, out in the Atlantic, the hurricane is named Edward. This one is looking like it's going to become a major hurricane. The winds are up to 120 miles an hour. So actually, it's a major or actually forecast to get to 120 Tuesday. Right now, the wind speeds are at 110. 115 is the threshold for considering it a major hurricane. The good news is, no matter how strong this one gets, it's far from land. 500, 600 miles east of Bermuda now and expected to curve out toward the North Atlantic as it gradually weakens. But it's notable because it probably will become the first major hurricane of the Atlantic season in a good spot out in the middle of the Atlantic. 75 tomorrow, a chance of a morning shower and then clearing in the afternoon. 74 on Wednesday, low to mid 70s with partly cloudy skies Thursday, Friday. A little cloud cover and fog in the morning Saturday. Other than that, the weekend looks pretty nice. High temperatures staying in the 70s.